Hey peeps, it's Ray, and I am not in halls right now. I am actually in a health share, but for the first year of uni, I did go to halls, and I wanted to make this video. At some point, I will also talk about health sharing, but that's a whole other story in its own. So, should you go to halls, and what should you expect when you do? I say if you're a first noise in my house, I love that. I say if you're a first year student, Halls can be a great experience, it can be a chance to meet new friends, go out, and a lot of my halls actually have hall specific events going on, so you can meet a lot of friends, do a lot of activities, it can be quite fun. But there are also a lot of cons to living in halls, and you have to figure out if it's worth it. During my first year I lived with five people, two girls, Julie and Katie, and three boys, Reese, Ethan and Al. These are all fake names, but if you live with me you will know who you are. If you want to just hear the good stuff about Hall, skip to the end, but I would advise you to listen to this because this video is very much a story time and a warning. The first one is the kitchen. I cannot stress enough how disgusting that kitchen was throughout the whole year. It got to the point where the cleaning people didn't want to clean our kitchen because it was that bad. There were plates everywhere and usually it was just me and Ethan cleaning up. There were a few times where other flatmates would help. Like once my uh, frying pan was covered in fat and grease and just been left somewhere so it just kind of congealed. And I was vegetarian so it obviously wasn't mine because none of my food produces fat. So Al decided that he would actually clean the pan for me rather than me just throwing it away because I was really done at that point and I preferred to just buy a new pan. But he did help there and I was actually quite thankful for that. <sighs> but do you know where this frying pan was? It was in our junk cupboard. This was basically a spot under the sink where people who couldn't be bothered to clean the dishes or if there was going to be a cleaning lady around the next day and we had to get rid of the dishes they would all just go into a cupboard under the sink. So it was just dirty dishes under the sink for months because no one would move them. The only time they got sorted out was when we were about to leave. And I think I still have this video, but here's an example of one of the times I came into my kitchen and it was a complete mess. The tables were overturned, everything was just everywhere. And this is the reason why I would never eat in my kitchen. This exact reason. Another time we found Ethan's eggs all smashed in the kitchen, just all over the side. Um, apparently Julie had gotten drunk on a night out and smashed the eggs, but she left a note saying she'd buy him more, so... I can't be that mad, but it's still something that springs to mind when I think about that kitchen. If you want your stuff stolen, go to halls. Now, I don't know if they were stolen per se, but I had a lot of cutlery and plates that just vanished. Maybe they did just vanish up and leave. Maybe they were in the drunk cupboard for so long that they became unrecognisable to me because they were just that messy. Who knows? I just know that when I came to house share in second year, I had to buy whole new stuff. Just put a everything basically. We had a group chat so there was really no need for any notes but notes there were to find. I don't really remember what most of them said because I knew they weren't about me because I didn't really do anything so I just kind of left it but I remember one about someone stealing Julie's food and Al confessed that he had taken something. What do you prefer? Al was a stoner. You get the munchies sometimes. You go in, you see some food, you think it's yours, you take it. I'm like, it's fair Al. That happens. But Julie was not impressed, and I can't blame her. The noise. I was in a so-called party flat because my ward was the cheapest and the closest to town. So no matter the time of year, it could be really, it could be literally the time where everyone is doing exams or coursework deadlines are coming up. They'd still be going out. Study guys. Like I didn't mind it during freshers. During freshers, it was so much fun. And then we kind of. Uh, we got to the time when I was actually trying to do work and I couldn't get to sleep. It was hard to get up early because I couldn't sleep and I had 9am the next day. Like legit, people would come in into the car park, which my window faced that. So they'd come in, in there from town, drunk, loud, screaming, waking me up at 2 in the morning. Not to mention once one of our friends came into the flat, he knocked on the door and came in. Um, and he was drunk and high. So I kind of looked after him until 5 in the morning and I had 9am the next day. 
So that's how bad it could get. And I know what you're saying, I should probably have told him to leave me alone and get the hell out. But he was drunk and high and I am a responsible friend. I regret all my decisions in life. Space. Halfway through my last semester, I felt so claustrophobic. I began to feel isolated. Sharing a bathroom was never an issue, but sharing a kitchen was because I couldn't spend any time in that kitchen because it was just so messy. So I'd go in, make my food and have to go back to my room. And the room was small and there was nothing else to do in that flat besides sit in your room or go outside. Those are the only two options. I ate in my room, I slept in my room, I studied in my room, I drew in my room, I did videos in my room, literally anything that you could think of, I did in my room. And there wasn't a lot of space to move around, so I didn't particularly want to spend that much time there, but I had no other option. Now, I know I've been ranting a lot, but there were some good things about living in halls. I wouldn't do it again, but I did get some things out of it. So here are the pros. It is quite cheap. You get internet, you get bills paid, you get security, you get a weekly cleaner. There's also a vending machine there. So if it's too late to go to the shop, but you want a drink, or you want some food, or you're out of toilet roll, you can actually just go there and that has everything you need. The one that my boyfriend went to actually had mac and cheese. I didn't have it, but that's amazing. If you know me, I love mac and cheese. So if I ever just crave one at two in the morning, I could just go out and get one. The main pro of halls is meeting new people. When I went to first year, I was terrified to meet new people. I was just, I wanted to stay in my room. I don't want to speak to anyone. But the very first day, Julie and Al knocked on my door and asked me if I wanted to go into town to get some stuff for the pre's that night. So I think something was going on in a club, so they were going to have pre's in the flat and then go out clubbing, and they invited me along. And I got on with them quite well. And the pre's turned into a whole flat party, so literally everyone from our block came into our small kitchen, and I got to know pretty much everyone that first night. It lets you be a lot more sociable if you want to, but you also don't have to get involved in that stuff if you do just want to stay in your room. You can also do that. And even though I'm not really friends with Al and Julie anymore, I am still friends with some of the other ones. And that's the reason why I don't regret going to halls, just because I met those people. However, I think if you're in second year or you did a foundation course, so you're in first year, but you already have friends from your course and you already know people, I think at that point halls becomes a bit needless. Unless you can't afford to live anywhere else, I get that. It is a lot of money to live in other places. House shares are a lot, houses are a lot, flats are a lot. Halls are quite cheap for what you get. So if you want somewhere cheap and you want to make friends, I will suggest going to halls. If you already have friends and you can afford another place, or you're really extroverted so you can make friends anywhere, then I will suggest getting getting a one bed to be fair, or a two bed at most. Don't don't do what I did. I had a house share with six other people but just choose what's best for you go to your hall see if you like them i do say first year it is a lot less stressful to just go straight into halls and then just go from there i have friends who still want to go to halls even in third year i know katie and one of our other friends now went into a house for second year and now they're going to go back into halls because they just prefer halls in general and that's fair if that happens houses aren't for everyone halls aren't for everyone choose what you think you'd prefer Rachel Kane out. What what's the word? Unrecognizable, that's the word I was looking for.